Joining me now from here in Washington is Harlan Ullman. He's the chairman of the Kilowin Group and a senior advisor at the Atlantic Council. So as we've been reporting, there have been talks between the top U.S. and China trade, treasury and commerce representatives three times in recent weeks. In fact, what is happening behind the scenes and, and what is this signal? Well, first of all, um, <clears throat> the uh, main thrust of President Biden's visit first with the G7, then with NATO, and then with President Putin of Russia, is to show leadership. And with the G7, there are obviously different views about how to deal with China. Uh, many of the European countries see China's business opportunities as huge. And so I hope what's happening behind the scenes right now is that the Americans and the Chinese are working on a modus operandi so we can improve relations. But quite frankly, I thought that Trump's tariff wars against China were misplaced, miscalculated, and did extreme damage, uh, especially to the U.S. consumer. But whether we can get them back on track remains to be seen, because the Biden administration has been taking a fairly hard line towards China, certainly regarding its military strategy, certainly in regarding, regarding human rights and what the Chinese are doing in terms of its military uh, development. Well, let me expand on that. How much work does Biden have to do while he is in Europe this week to bring a lot of these leaders back on the side of the U.S. Um, and make up for what happened under the Trump administration? Firstly, his visit there will be a great deal of help in that regard. But this is not going to be one-stop shopping. Uh, I think the president will announce that the G7 meeting, the half a billion doses of vaccines, and no doubt he will get very good reviews. But this is a start of a long process. Uh, it doesn't take very long to destroy trust and confidence, and it takes a very long time to build it back. So whereas I believe the president will do very well on this trip and people will be reassured, this is the first step of a very long process that could go on for six months or even a year. This week, President Biden did away with Trump's TikTok and WeChat ban, but there are new wider regulations targeting China's tech industry. What is happening there when you have a couple of different things going on, lifting some, adding more, expanding? Um, are they trying to, is the U.S. trying to get a footing on, on what its stance is against China when it comes to technology? The whole issue here has to do with security, the issue with Huawei. And I think if uh, the Americans can believe that the systems are secure and they will not allow in any kind of internet or cyber spying, then I think there will be a relief for those particular companies. But given the fact of all the cyber attacks, many coming from Russia, the Americans are very, very concerned about that. And China will certainly have to deal with that particular issue in terms of security and the issue of cyber theft, IP theft, and all the things that are happening right now in terms of ransomware. So when it comes back, let's go back to trade for a moment. When it comes to uh, the talks that we've been seeing between the U.S. and China, where does the phase one trade deal stand? And how long before we see either some progress or some pulling back when it comes to uh, that trade deal that was made under the previous administration? I think what will happen is that there's going to be a lot of negotiations. And then at some stage, I would hope within the next month, President Xi and President Biden will have a long conversation or some kind of a meeting uh, by telecommunications. And I hope that we'll be able to sort out some kind of a deal, because as I said, the tariff wars with China are not helping anybody. And both sides need to have a stable, uh, a, sta a very stable relationship, simply because the economies are dependent upon that. And, and much of world trade and commerce is also dependent upon that. Uh, the pandemic is not over. There are lots of uncertainties, the shortages of chips, for example. And the more financial uncertainties that exist, uh, the more unstable the economic position becomes. And so in my view, I hope that President Biden and President Xi can reach an accommodation to give, develop trust and confidence between the two countries and to get us back to more of a level playing field where we can actually do more business with each other. So do you think that these discussions in, the, in recent days between uh, trade representatives, commerce representatives are a good start? Is, is that the first step in getting there? Yes. Yes, it's a very good start. One of the issues here is domestically, the one thing or one of the few things that our Congress agrees upon is that China is the threat. And so um, Joe Biden has got his work cut out for him because he's going to find a Congress very resistant, seemingly to give in to China, when in fact we may be doing deals that are in best interest. So domestic politics here will play a very, very heavy role in how we ultimately deal with China in terms of economics, business, finance, and all the other issues. 
Harlan Ullman, always great, great to get your assessment. Thank you so much for joining us.